Hello. Bear with me while I get this up and running on my computer so I can see what's any comments if anybody jumps on. This is the cute little project we're going to be making today. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. So a couple housekeeping things before we get started. So the designer series paper sale is ending on Saturday. So it's 15% off select patterns. And the paper we're using today is... Um, heartwarming hugs designer series paper and it is on here so it's regular 1150 it's on sale for 978 so if you want to stock up on designer series paper i have a host code if you use the host code and you spend over 40 dollars, you get your any order gets a thank you card but if you if your order is over 40 dollars, then you get a, pair, a set of wonderful gems from me with your thank you card and then a little sneak peek coming soon is um it's available this is going to be available november 3rd um through january 4th it's called the curvy celebrations so there's a stamp set with dies then the, those are going to be in the january to june mini catalog they'll be coming out but exclusively for right that is only going to be available till january 4th or while supplies last is the christmas stamp set and the christmas paper and you could go ahead and buy all of it in a bundle and save 10%. For, it'll be $70.50. You'll get both stamp sets, the dies, and a package of designer series paper. Okay, so if you're interested in that, just and you have, want, I have questions or anything, just message me. Not a problem. Okay. He jumps on. Hold on, let me make, mute this. Okay, so... Today's project is this cute little box that you could put, you could just put about anything in there, but it's a really cute little box and it's easy to make. So let me move the stamp out of the way. Okay. So I will upload the PDF to the um, Facebook group as soon as this video is done. I'll go um, in there and put it up and we'll be ready to go. Okay. So the first thing we need is a piece of five inch by nine and a half inch whisper white okay and then we're going to score this on the five inch let me pull my trimmer and open it up okay so on the five inch side which is this side we're going to score up one inch on both sides so what i'm going to do is one inch on this side and then Line it up with the one inch line on this side, just like that. So we'll have one inch on each side. Then on the nine and a half inch side, we're gonna do three and an eighth, four and an eighth, seven and a quarter, and eight and a quarter. Just like that. Okay, now we're done with the trimmer. So we're gonna need our bone folder, paper snips, parent tape. <laughs> I thought I had everything out ready to go, but I guess I didn't. Okay, so we're gonna score or burnish this with the bone folder, and it just makes it easier to fold and stay. Okay, one more. Okay, so we're going to, the two squares at the top are going to be at the top of our box, okay? Let me get my scissors. So what we're going to do, I'm going to flip it like this. So the two squares, you're going to cut the first square off, cut to the second square line, then you're going to cut this square off, and then you'll have a little tabby, okay? Do the same thing over here, cut down to the second score line, and then cut the first score line off. Just like that okay then we're gonna come here to the middle and I'm just gonna take it a little extra off of that 
like a little sliver, it'll just make it fold easier for me. Okay, do the same thing over here. Okay, so that is that. That's all the cutting. Okay, so remember this is the top of our box. So what we're gonna do is push all of our tabs in and down and we're gonna come in with our tear and tape. And I'm just gonna put a piece of tear and tape on all four of these. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna take a strip of tear and tape and put on each side of this part. Okay. Okay, there's that. Okay, so next up we're going to need our take a pick tool. I use this for um, taking off, it's just easier to get it in there and I'm just going to take off all the sticky strip, tear tape I mean, just like maybe, okay, just like that. I was pulling up all the adhesive. I didn't want to do that. Okay. So, now we have that part done. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our box and I'm going to line it this up with the bottom. Uh, yeah. I think I messed up, but we'll fix it. And then... We're going to put the sides up. Okay. I was not. Okay, so I wasn't supposed to put sticky strip on these, so I'm just going to cut them off. Just, it'll be fine. It doesn't actually need the, those to make it work. And I put sticky strip on them, so... Okay, so then we're going to need a piece of just, nope, it'll be fine. Sorry, I hit the volume on my, okay, so then we're going to need a piece of designer series paper. And it is measuring two and seven eighths by three. And I'm going to use my seal. Oh, yeah, I did. I'm at the end of it and it's not wanting to. Yeah, I meant to replace that before this video, but I did not, so. Okay, so we're gonna put the DSP down, just like that, okay? And then we're gonna pull in our stamp. We're using the, right here, sorry. We're using the Wishes and Wonders, this one here, made at the North Pole, okay? And then we're gonna, you're going to need to cut out a whisper white with a circle and then a red with this shape. That's how we're going to get our, it. okay. So hopefully I can line this up. Usually you stamp first and then cut, but because I wanted to prep it, there we go. I did. Okay. <laughs> I'm proud of myself there. That's pretty good. So then you're going to use just regular adhesive to adhere this. But then we're going to use dimensionals toward the bottom of this, put the dimensionals. Then we're going to close the lid and then, oh, I smeared it. Oh, well, I'll fix, I'll put another circle in there later. But this is your finished product, just like that. Okay. So I will upload this to YouTube and I will upload the PDF to our, I'll fix, I'll put oh. another circle to our Facebook group. And um, if you have any questions, leave me a comment and I will come back and answer it. Thank you.